Wicklow Fire Service has been fighting wildfires for many years. They are a particularly difficult and unique type of incident that presents challenges to the fire service and our partner agencies that uh, do not occur in other incident types. They're wide area incidents where developing an operational picture is difficult and it involves a great deal of interagency work um, and cooperation. The Air Corps has been engaged in helicopter firefighting for a number of years um, and over that time we've identified a number of inefficiencies in our command, control and communication and also areas in which we can improve safety and effectiveness of our helicopter firefighting capability. So we pose the Defence Innovation Challenge to improve our safety, efficiency and effectiveness of helicopter firefighting and Manute stood up to that challenge with the Copilot AI system. At Maynooth we brought together an interdisciplinary uh, group to look at how we kind of uh, tackle uh, one of the shortcomings of wildfires which deals with how data is gathered and shared in near real time. At the heart of Copilot is a stakeholder engagement, primary partners, the Air Corps, but also the Fire Service, National Parks and Wildlife Service and Quilta. So the challenge of wildfires really centres around three key pillars, societal impacts, environmental impacts and your economic impacts. Increasingly over the, the last number of years, the environmental impact of wildfires is, is coming to the fore. The loss of species and the loss of habitat, coupled with the uh, emission of CO2, towards the end is really the economic impacts of wildfires and the cost associated with them, the cost of suppressing them, the cost of deploying these various different technologies and responders. And to try and do that effectively is what we're trying to achieve with this co-pilot web app. So one of the exciting technologies that we're looking at as part of the Copilot AI project is the use of drones and advanced imaging devices in order to collect real-time data from an incident as it occurs and feed that back to the on-site incident response unit. So this creates a particular challenge in the sense that we end up with a deluge of data which has to be fed back to the likes of the fire chief in real time. So in order to assist the fire chief in doing that and to reduce the cognitive load that that produces, we're using artificial intelligence and machine learning technology where we automatically ingest that data into our system. We analyze it, process it, interpret it, and then summarize it and present it back to the fire chief in a very uh, user-friendly way that allows them to identify the most important points within the environment and take actions on uh, that information as it comes in. Some of the data streams that we uh, capture come from satellites, some from aerial platforms and in this case here some of the data streams come off drones and in this particular example it's a tether drone. This project has presented to us for the first time uh, a view of what could be available in the future and to be able to get that information on the ground between units that are spread over a wide area and back to, to headquarters will um, improve both the health and safety of our firefighters, the public and the environment, but also uh, our effectiveness at extinguishing the fires more quickly and thereby protecting the environment from the uh, unfortunate effects of wildland fires.